Ian, what's happening in the world of AV news? Um, well, to start with, because it's been, I mean, there's a lot of TVs been coming along lately, but there hasn't been many new ones to kind of talk about. So I thought it was worth flagging up uh, a couple of new Hisense TVs that have been uh, announced of late. Uh, a couple of new 4K OLED TVs coming from those guys. Uh, predominantly is the A9H, replacing the A9G from last year, uh, adding HDI HDMI 2.1 ports to the mix this time. So that's going to come with the likes of 120 hertz refresh rates and all the other perks that come with it. Um, I think the only downside is that it's looking like the A9H may only be available in a 65 inch model in the UK. Um, uh, that could very well buy, I'm not sure. Um, but that comes with a retail price of £2,299. Um, and it's joined by the A85H, which does come with a 55 inch option as well as a 65 inch screen. Uh, those are priced at £1,499 and £1,999 each. Um, you can find out a bit more about the, the specs and details on both products via the news story that's on the website. Uh, bottom line is they should start arriving by around the 9th of July. So that's okay. going to be something to look forward to. Quite specific. I, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll get them in for review. My only problem with these, and it was the same problem I had last year, was uh, the smart TV system is not great. Uh, Vidu, it's okay. If it's if it's a budget TV that you're going for, these are not budget TVs, which is which is an issue. Uh, these are the same price as the LGs and and the others on the market. I am assuming as well, Ian. Although I didn't see anything in the news story that uh, these will be using LG display uh, panels like everybody else at the moment. There was no mention of them being QD panels. So, um, so yeah, that's my only issue with them is the pricing seems to be a bit toppy for what's on offer in terms of operating system and smart tv and so on um so yeah it'll be interesting to see those when they get them in for review certainly on the a9g that i looked at last year there were some issues with video processing and so on so hopefully they will managed to get on top of that and calibration wise jules uh the cms and white balance controls did nothing oh um, god that's so and Unfortunately, wow. um, there were some bugs last That's, year, which wow. meant the set didn't actually complete the review process because there was just so many bugs on, on it. But wow. hopefully we'll get one in this year. We'll uh, put it through the paces. But like I say, in terms of pricing, I would expect them to be a little bit less than the competition if they're trying to break into the market. They're not a player, in my opinion, at the moment uh, that can command... Um, you know, the big prices like the other boys can because they've sorted their software. You know, LG's video processing is absolutely uh, spot on this year. Uh, they've done all the, the R&D and they've upped their game in terms of upscaling and so on. And WebOS Smart TV uh, is spot on. So it's tough competition for Hisense mm -hmm. there. But we'll be interested to see how they get on. <laughs>